everyone, and welcome to another episode of Crafty Beer Reviews. Today, I will be reviewing a very spooky beer because it is Halloween. One of my all-time personal favorite holidays, just so you guys know. So what am I reviewing? None other than Heavy Seas the Great Ur Pumpkin. So what is this? It is an Imperial Pumpkin Ale. They're using, of course, pumpkin and pumpkin pie spices in this, but it gets even better because there is a treat involved for all of us here. This is further aged in bourbon barrels. So yeah, really cool stuff. Definitely seems to be the year of bourbon barrel aged pumpkin beers for me at least. Very cool stuff. Definitely looking forward to this for sure. So guys, without further ado, let's go ahead and check out the aroma. Okay, so not exactly what I was expecting. Up front, I definitely get a little bit of that actual pumpkin type of smell, a little bit of a fleshy pumpkin. Definitely getting the spice character. I get like cinnamon, nutmeg, touch of allspice. I'm definitely getting like a little bit of ginger in there. Definitely some kind of sweeter notes too, a little bit of caramel, maybe some toffee. Yeah, really nice amount of cinnamon without being like over the top and definitely has that nice nutmeg component. I'm not picking up on a ton of barrel, though. I get a little bit of vanilla sweetness, you know, and I get a touch of bourbon, but it is really, really faint, really no oakiness. Yeah, that is interesting. I was kind of expecting it to be a little bit more forward in the bourbon department, but you know what, guys? It smells pretty damn good nonetheless, so let's go ahead and take our first sip. Alright, so just like in the aroma, up front the big thing that I'm getting is that actual pumpkin again. It has almost kind of vegetal taste to it, which I really appreciate when you can taste like actual pumpkin, which is really, really nice. Definitely in there. Up front you also get a lot of the spices, so I'm talking nutmeg, ginger. It kind of tastes a little bit, and I do mean just a touch of clove in there. Definitely that cinnamon, the allspice for sure. Yeah, definitely getting sweet caramel, sweet toffee on the back end too. It's really nice. I'm getting a touch of bready malt, not a ton, but it's definitely in there. Again, the bourbon and the barrel in general isn't too present in this overall. I'm getting it a little bit more than I did in the actual nose, but yeah, in terms of taste, I, I'm a little disappointed by that, you know? I was expecting it to be a little bit more forward. I do get... A touch of bourbon on the back end, I'm definitely getting vanilla about mid-palate, which is really nice. Again, I'm not getting much in the way of actual oak, though. And this is not a particularly dry beer, either. It's got a medium body. definitely has a, a slightly, slightly creamy type of mouthfeel. It's very coating. There is a little bit of bitterness. There's enough in there that kind of helps to, you know, make sure this thing isn't cloyingly sweet. Because trust me... This could be a really cloying beer, but it's not, which is really nice. And it's pretty smooth for 10%. I gotta say, I couldn't really smell any alcohol. I can taste just a bit, and I definitely get a warmth as it goes down. But for 10% and being barrel aged, it's really not bad. It's pretty nice. And it's funny, too, because I've heard so many mixed reviews about this beer. I was a little scared <laughs> to try it. <laughs> that was so lame, whatever. But yeah, so I've heard a lot of mixed reviews, and I've heard, you know, sometimes it's really boozy, other times ever it's not. This, for the 2014 year, definitely not boozy in any way, shape, or form. A little bit of alcohol, but, you know, nothing bad for 10%. It's a pretty nice beer overall. Again, I'm a little disappointed that there's not as much bourbon and as much barrel character in here. But all in all, I think it's a really nice pumpkin beer. So as far as rating, guys, I'm going with a 9 out of 10. This has been one of the few ones to actually impress me this year. And it's been one of the few to impress me overall, too. I really do enjoy it. I like they actually get the pumpkin taste. You get the spices, you know, ginger, nutmeg, a little bit of clove, definitely that cinnamon, the allspice caramel and toffee sweetness, a little bit of vanilla sweetness from the bur bourbon, a touch, and I do mean just a touch of that bourbon, a little bit of bready biscuity malt, all in all, it's just a nice, good beer, and you know what, definitely something to have on Halloween, but yeah, this is great, very tasty, if you guys like trying a brand new pumpkin beer, if you've even had it before, let me know down in the comment section, alright guys, I hope you don't get up to too, too much mischief tonight, well, after I finish this, 
You never know. I very well might. Yeah, I might. But yeah, anyways, please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. And remember, I hope whatever you're doing involves good craft beer. Cheers. And there's that too.